Now loading on track number one for a trip around Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. All aboard! Hello everybody, welcome back to Disney 24-7 here. It's Disney all the time. Today we're back at the Disneyland Resort here for a Downtown Disney update. Because since I was last gone, they've actually opened the Tortilla Joe's restaurant as well as the Louisiana Kitchen. So we'll go check that out today as well as some new Disney merch that's popped up in World of Disney. Now you can barely see it, but right in there is actually scaffolding right there on the City Hall on Main Street. So they are doing some construction work in there right now. Today is August 14th, 2020. And there aren't that many people over here, just a cast member. But overall today, it's a Friday night. It's a little bit busy, busier than I've seen the last two times I've been close to close to the amount of people that were here on opening day. Just like Black Tap over at Tortilla Joe's and the Jazz Kitchen, they actually do have outdoor seating. All restaurants in California are like that right now. I actually was able to see that the Jazz Kitchen's courtyard was open and it was seating people. So the courtyard in the Jazz Kitchen is open. That is a lot of birds. Wow. Uh, a swarm or a flock? I think it's a flock. There they go. They're just going in circles, it looks like. You can see here, the queue now starts over on the left-hand side and then crosses over And that is where you wait to get into the world of Disney. Just a standby queue, not a mobile queue. That is one difference. The moment I saw that the Louisiana kitchen had opened, I really, really wanted to get some beignets. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But first, let's check out the world of Disney. Now it is actually Jungle Cruises 65th anniversary because Jungle Cruise was an opening day attraction with Disneyland. So they have a lot of Jungle Cruise themed merchandise available. That bag looks a lot like the Galaxy's Edge bag, which I already have, but I do really like these. A lot of the 65th anniversary merchandise is still here in case you were wanting to pick some up, including the back of this sweatshirt, which I actually didn't see before, so that's cool. Here's the front of the sweatshirt for reference. One thing that I've noticed is they've actually separated a lot of the masks by theme instead of just having them all clustered in one spot. For example, all the Baby Yoda ones are here by all the Star Wars stuff. And then over here in the I guess Minnie Mouse Disney kind of section. They have some Disney princesses and a Tiki Room mask, as well as Winnie the Pooh and other Disney characters. For reference, the line to get in here actually went pretty fast. It was, it was maybe like 15 minutes from the time I got in line to actually getting in the store. So it wasn't too bad. Pretty soon they will start to be selling a lot of Halloween merchandise. Not sure if this was here before, but Halloween's a coming. Seems they're always coming out with more and more of these bags. The Disney lounge fly bags. This one right here is Kevin from Up. And then they have Bo Peep, as well as Woody. Not too much that I saw in World of Disney. That's okay though because there is one thing that I wanted to check out really quick. La Brea Bakery is still closed, which is odd considering they have 
all of this outdoor seating out here. There's tons of space. Strange. Maybe they just don't think people want pastries and stuff right now. I wanted to come back down to the Esplanade because I wanted to see if the lights were on in Disneyland. And they are. That's really good to see. I was, I was honestly kind of worried that they would all be turned off and it would just, just look like a, not a ghost town, but I guess just dead. Over here at California Adventure, the lights are on as well. And you can see over there in the distance is Guardians of the Galaxy. It is really cool to be walking through downtown Disney at night. I haven't been at the Disneyland Resort at night in quite some time now. Quite some time. It is a totally different atmosphere though. Really cool. Now earlier I called it the Louisiana Kitchen. I meant to say Jazz Kitchen. But the moment has arrived. Gonna get some beignets. The package is secure. I got them. There they are. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Hopefully I don't get powdered sugar all over my all over my black shirt. I know it's a great combination, but I am very excited to have a Disneyland beignet. It's been quite some time. Cheers. Well, I missed it actually being open, but the Rinse Bath & Body Co. actually has a booth over here. It's just not open at the moment because Downtown Disney is actually closing. It closes at 9 o'clock tonight and it is currently 8.59. So, it's time for me to be leaving. Those beignets were good. And it's good to see the Jazz Kitchen, not Louisiana Kitchen. Still don't know why I said that earlier. But it's good to see that the Jazz Kitchen and Tortilla Joe's are both open. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. It was really fun to be back here at Downtown Disney again and to get some beignets and see that uh, things are starting to reopen again. So that's really cool.